The BrahMos missile is a joint venture between the Russian firm NPO Machinostroynia and India's Defence Research and Development Organisation. India holds a 50.5% stake in the joint venture with an initial contribution of 126.25 million United States dollars. While Moscow holds a 49.5% stake with an initial contribution of 123.75 million United States dollars. The recent deal between India and the Philippines to deliver BrahMos missiles demonstrates India's growth as an important player in the Indo-Pacific. And India has the potential to become a major arms exporter in the years to come. Hence, it needs to make sure that the deal and delivery goes through on time. Strategic opportunity. China's territorial dispute is not just with India. China has 17 territorial conflicts with its neighbors both on land and at water. On the eastern side, ASEAN members are engaged in a dispute with China in the South China Sea. They are losing control of remote islands and atolls and are facing increasing invasions by Chinese fishing ships backed up by the Chinese Coast Guard. And, India is positioned as a security supplier in the Indian Ocean region, having assisted Mauritius and the Seychelles in building their capacity. Undoubtedly, India is crucial in aiding other democracies, such as the Philippines, in terms of both security and economic growth. India has maritime security cooperation with six ASEAN nations and an overall strategic engagement with them. And China's ascent has provided a fantastic chance for like-minded countries to come together. India has implemented a number of initiatives as a result of its heightened assertiveness and emphasis on the Act East policy cooperation, continued with this clarity, but still it lacked depth. In 2020, India gifted Myanmar with a submarine from their fleet. It was for Myanmar's defense in the Bay of Bengal. India was led by SAGAR, or Security and Growth for All in the Region, and its commitment to strengthening capacity in neighboring nations. Vietnam, Indonesia, and the Philippines are interested in purchasing Indian missiles to defend their coastlines. For many years, Vietnamese and Indonesian passion was not matched by Indian zeal. Because the necessity to fulfill domestic orders took precedence. And, for several years, India delayed replying to requests for missiles from Vietnam and Indonesia, possibly because it was concerned about the Chinese reaction. However, India's first customer was unexpectedly the Philippines. Vietnam and Indonesia, who are still interested, are waiting in the wings. South Africa is also a prospective customer. Kenya, the United Arab Emirates and Oman are among the countries involved. The ASEAN members recognize that Chinese dominance in the area obtained through control of the SCS and a refusal to proceed on the code of conduct limited their strategic autonomy. Despite Chinese generosity in dealing with the epidemic and BRI help to several ASEAN nations, some of them feel threatened in the SCS. Previously, the United States was the area's primary source of security, but with its departure, the region was left in a loop. Why the anti-ship missile deal is important for India This anti-ship missile agreement is significant because it may lead to similar requests from other Southeast Asian countries that have been subjected to China's invasions. Furthermore, this is a game-changer for Indo-Russian collaborative military manufacture and it will be India's first large export of weapons systems. It is also a significant boost for India's Act East policy, which aspires to revitalize historical connections with Southeast and East Asian countries. A contract like this will also bring in much needed income for the country's military industrial complex. Without a question, the contribution performed by the Defense Research and Development Organization in developing BrahMos, a 292km range cruise missile that is now the finest in its class, provides India an advantage. And, the newer variants of the BrahMos in development will enhance range and speed, taking it from supersonic 2.8 Mach to hypersonic 5 Mach. 
some ASEAN nations continue to be interested in the shore-based anti-ship variant to protect their shores. But, they lack the capability to absorb ship-based, submarine-launched or aircraft-delivered BrahMos. Hence, India's original BrahMos remain the default option for export. Challenges the purchase would undoubtedly irritate China. So far, the Chinese have not responded to the sale of BrahMos to the Philippines. But it will try to exert pressure on Philippines and other countries interested in purchasing BrahMos. India must exercise caution in this regard and devise a coordinated strategy to ensure that the transaction does not fall through. Second, the Sino-Russian axis is becoming increasingly critical in Northeast Asia, which is part of the Indo-Pacific region. Though Russia is not involved in the South China Sea, but it supports Chinese interests in the region. Third, because a Russian consortium is also participating in the BrahMos production process, the US may oppose as well. Because, the NPO, Machinostroyenia, is a target of Kartsa. In a continuously changing environment, this is just another job for Indian diplomacy to manage. This will be a test case for India.